So my parents recently retired and moved to the country, so I decided to go spend a week with them. And while I was at it, I went ahead and packed my truck full of tools, just in case they needed something built. And sure enough, my dad's really been wanting a workbench for his shop, so we loaded up and went to the store to pick out some material. Now, I made the workbench out of mostly 2x4s and plywood, and I do have a set of plans available on my website if you'd like to build one as well. My dad has never done anything woodworking related, and so he doesn't have a modder saw. So instead, I used my Triton Super Jaws and a circular saw to cut down the 2x4s. If you've never used one of these Super Jaws, I cannot tell you how useful and handy they are. If you have a handy person in your life and can't think of a good present for them, I cannot recommend these Super Jaws enough. The first few hours was pretty much just cutting down all of the 2x4s to size. At some point, my dad apparently put a clothespin on me. Yeah, it took me a while to discover it, but I eventually got him back. <laughs> he walked around with that for the rest of the day. Once all the 2x4s were cut to size, we started assembling them. Now, on these joints, I used pocket holes just so I wouldn't have to use four, four and a half inch screws. Just need to make a second one identical to it. Then I started assembling what will become the front and back of the workbench. Now I dressed the horizontal apron to the back of the 2x4 so that there will be an inch and a half of overhang on the, on the workbench surface for clamping area. And I put it together in sections like this so I wouldn't have to use ultra long screws to get to those horizontal apron. Once I got the front and back together, I glued and attached the end assemblies. Then I came through and attached two long 2x4s on the bottom so that I could make a bottom shelf. To add more support, I glued and screwed in some cross braces. Thanks, Dad. Once I had the front completely done, then I did, repeated the steps and did the same to the bottom. Okay. You wanna see how sturdy it is? Wow. That will not move. Good. <laughs> Next, we moved it inside the shop exactly where my dad wanted it and then started decking the two workbench surfaces. I notched out the two corners using a jigsaw and then scooted it into place and screwed it down. This is just so cool. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Then did the same for the bottom shelf, just cutting it to length and then screwing it down. Push. Awesome. Did it flush on your end? Perfect. Sweet. All right. Before moving on, I want to talk to you about this video sponsor, Lynda.com. Lynda.com is an online learning resource that has thousands of video classes available online on subjects like education, design, photography, business, just to name a few. If you go to lynda.com slash April, then you'll receive a free 10 day trial. I have personally been using it to learn about the online accounting software QuickBooks, but since it's one flat fee gets you unlimited access, I can go from learning QuickBooks to learning SketchUp to learning more about my DSLR camera. Really, the options are endless. So I encourage you to go to lynda.com and start a free 10 day trial. 10 days gives you plenty of time to test it out and learn something new. I've personally been able to learn so much from the classes that I've been taking that I think that you'll find it useful and worth exploring. With a free 10 day trial, you really don't have anything to lose. So go to lynda.com slash April. Next, I decided to build two rolling drawers just to utilize some wasted space underneath the workbench. To make these cuts, I'm using the job site saw that SawStop recently sent me. This thing folds up and is so compact that it was the perfect thing to throw in the back of my truck and come up to my parents to build something. To attach the drawers, I'm using glue and screws. If you need more information on how these drawers are made, I do have more in the written tutorial on my website. Then we slip the bottom into the dado slot that I cut. That's a big drawer. Then of course I flipped it over and made it mobile by adding a few casters. I was going to add a handle, but my dad preferred it without one. A little bit more, a little bit more, maybe a little bit more, sorry. Okay, great. I added these cross braces to give the pegboard some support, then attach pegboard on both sides. Okay, and that's it. Eight 
quote workbench that I think my dad is going to get plenty of use out of in his new shop. You know, not only the two workbench surfaces, but also the two rolling storage bins down below, and then of course pegboard on both sides. Now, an alternative design would be to bring the pegboard all the way down, but my dad really liked the option of having this, this open space right here. So of course, it's been a very special few days being able to work with my dad for the first time in a shop environment. See, my dad was an aircraft mechanic his entire life, so this is his first time doing anything woodworking related. And as a child, I was just never interested in getting into the shop and learning how to use tools. If you're a child watching this, I really encourage you to get out in the shop with your parents, whether it be your mom or dad, and give it a try. But if you're a parent watching this and you're trying to get your, your child into the shop, but they're just not really showing too much interest, don't be discouraged. I was well into my 20s before I gained my interest in the hobby. So there's always hope. If you are interested in building your own workbench, then I do have a set of plans on my website at wilkerdews.com. I've left you a link in the description. And of course, I would love to hear comments in the section below. I hope everybody's having a great week and I will see you the next time I'm working on something. Okay, that is it. Finished? I'm finished. What do you think? That is beautiful. Hey. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Dad. I love you. You did a great job. I love you too. Let's celebrate. Okay. <laughs>